There it is. What is happening? <laughs> What's going on? I that was that was some classic Daikaiji Tony at the Bat Two C. <laughs> Fantastic. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, where we talk about things and also do things that may matter to us, <laughs> but may not matter to you. I am host one of three, Louis Stellatore. I am host. Why is your mic off? <laughs> Better. <laughs> I am host two of three, Daikaiju Tony. <laughs> is it, am I too loud? You're fine now. <laughs> So you're busy dancing. And like we're playing a game of Formula D, I am dead last, Adam Crane. Yeah, yeah, you're buried. That is the one game I cannot seem to you're do well You're bad at Formula D. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm very good at it, though. You do seem to win I a lot. I win a lot yeah. at it. I win a lot at it. It's one of the only games I win a lot at. Um, <laughs> so, guys, we're going to be talking about uh, Batman in the movies, Batman in Hollywood. But yep. first, uh, let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the pop culture mecca of the Mojave Desert. Yes. Uh, we have anything and everything your nerdy heart can desire, including but not limited to key lanyards and refrigerator magnets. Right. Yay! That's true. We also have, like, comics and stuff, I guess. And yeah. buttons and... <laughs> stuff relating to superheroes. Marco pops. Yeah, yes. just, like, general pop culture stuff. We have it all here, and if we don't have it here, we can get it for you. All right. Yes. Um, you can go to uh, Cosmic... Was it Cosmic... Cosmic Vegas, Vegas, and you can have it mailed to you. That way, you don't have to leave your couch. Right. Yes. Um, you can go. Links are in the description so that you can go shopping or come on down. Talk to our knowledgeable staff so that they can help you out with whatever you need. Yeah. yeah. Cosmic Comics Sorry. tonight. Batman <laughs> at the movies <laughs> in Hollywood. <laughs> now, <laughs> the new Batman, The Batman, came out this weekend. Yes. Mm -hmm. With Robert Pattinson. Yes. Yeah. Um, as seen by our own Daikaiju Tony, but not us two. <laughs> so good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I feel I feel bad judging it before I've even watched it, but, like, I don't know. I, there's just something about it that I'm not digging. I might see it I mean, at if some you point, love the you know, animated series, then you... I've heard that... He's a detective for most of it, and I yes. think that's why I kind of want to see it. Okay. And even then, the fight scenes are amazing. I'm tired of a non-detective Batman. Confirmed. But he still walks into a hail of gunfire. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, he does. Yeah, he gets shot a lot, but mm. I'll get into that later whenever we do well, review we're not, it. Yeah, we're not talking about a review. He, okay. gets, he gets hurt a lot. We're talking about <laughs> Batman in the, in the movies. movies. Live action, right? Now. Yeah, we're not. Are we counting animated? Hold on. We'll no, get, we'll if we count there, live we'll action, that'll be way too okay, long. How okay. many... How many Batman movies do you think there are? <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, there's more than that. Like fifteen. Theatrical. So here, let's talk. Oh, no. Let's start with Batman as a character, as a movie franchise. Sixteen. In Batman's entire history, where do you think he ranks on all-time franchises as far as money making? Uh, movie franchises? Yeah. Do you think he's in the top ten? Yeah. Probably. Yes. Well, knowing how much money the Dark Knight fr ranked up. Every Batman yeah. movie seems to do really well, so I'm going to say, yeah, top ten, even if they're bad. You would be right, top ten. All right, I did it. According to Wikipedia. Wait, wait, wait. Which, do you have which, where in the top ten it is? Yeah. Okay, guess, Tony. Top ten. Where's Batman? Five or six. Mm. Well, is it five or six? got to guess one. <laughs> five. Five? I'm going to say I'm going to say six. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go prices right on you. According to Wikipedia, he is number eight. Uh, uh, I got, I'm got. i closest without going over. All right. Now, I don't know exactly which movies they included <laughs> as far as uh, what that means because the DC Extended Universe is also in there. <laughs> oh, so okay. I don't know if Justice League is part of that or part of Batman. However, to be honest, during this research, those numbers were a little goofy because one, one Wikipedia say it said just under... Um, just under six billion, and this Wikipedia says six point three billion total of seventeen movies, seventeen theatrical release movies. Wow. Um, we're going to talk about a few extra only because I think they sort of fit. But, okay. But not all the animated ones. Oof, okay. Um, That's if, a lot. If you'd like to list all the, if you'd like to hear what all the animated movies are, I have a list. Maybe I'll save that for the end because it's quite lengthy. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of lengthy. Yeah. We don't have to go too much into right, it, but right. yeah, no, that'd be good. Okay. Um, however, Batman is number eight. Bama. Uh, followed by X Men. I would have never guessed that X Men made that what? much money. What nine? Which At one, nine? Which nine with only thirteen movies. All the X Men. Oh, in terms of franchise, well. 
But uh, apparently, Deadpool is counted. Deadpools yeah. are counted as X Men movies. Uh well, uh, what? A, what? A, okay, by what this, a cop. I by just, this, just yeah. hit your wagon onto the most popular one. Middle okay. Earth only hit number ten. Ha! Probably because oh. probably because the Hobbits were so bad. And yeah, I, they were. And I don't think they did well. Yeah, they it's were. DC Extended Universe is number eleven. Guess where poor Superman is. Number twelve. Twenty fourth on oh the list. Oh my god! But then again, there hasn't really been a, lo- a good Superman movie. No, in there is not. In I like a Quest long, for Peace. Time, yeah. But I don't think Quest for Peace made a lot of money back no. then. So. No, no, no. I remember getting into an argument with somebody about uh, whether or not Man of Steel was good. <laughs> I don't remember who it was, but they they were convinced that Man of Steel was good, and I'm like, it's not though. It's, it's not, not good. good it's yeah. not good. We saw it. Yeah, it's not good. It's terrible. Guess what number one is? This should be easy for you. Star Wars. Uh, no? No. Oh, what? Uh, huh. Okay, give me a hint. <laughs> the MCU. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh. That's not a hint. That's the answer, you <laughs> dolt. Guess what number two is? The DCU. Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> Guess what number three is? A franchise in and of himself. What? Avatar? Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man. All right, but enough of that. We're here for Batman. Yay. These are the top franchise, and all of movies are just superheroes. Wait, wait till, all of movies. Wait, wait till Avatar. James Bond is actually oh. number five, and the Avengers by themselves are number six. So, yeah, I don't Wow. Know. The list doesn't... Okay, so Batman started in movie theaters. We're going to... Well, I'll just get get right into it. Batman started in movie theaters back in 1943 with movie serials. Oh the, yeah, the first yeah. the first set of movie serials was called simply Batman, and that debuted in July 16th, 1943, starring Lewis Wilson as Batman. Yeah, and um, do you guys catch any of those? I I have that on DVD actually. Do you I've have seen that, that one. Or the second one, the first one, because the first one had Robin in it, and his mask was like covering his well, nose. Well, he's too. in both of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, in the first one, what the wasn't the villain some white guy playing an asian guy <laughs> making zombies as was the style at the time and he would feed people to That's, alligators that sounds like the first one yeah yeah and then the second one was batman and robin which debuted on june 26 1949 starring robert lowry as uh the batman. titular character of batman batman, well, batman robert lowry wizard. sounds very english it sounds like a very english name yeah he fights Hello, the wizard. I am the Batman. <laughs> and he fights the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> As Batman would. The, uh, yeah, his arch nemesis is the wizard. The wizard, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you could put him up there with, like, King Tut from, yeah. like, the 66 <laughs> version. <laughs> All right. So, after that, there's a good 20, almost 20 year hiatus of Batman in movies. Wow. All the way up until July 30th, 1966. Ah, uh, yes. Dun, dun, Batman, dun, dun, colon, dun, dun, the, dun, movie. the movie. Right. <laughs> Adam West. <laughs> Burt Ward. <laughs> that title, though. <laughs> so dynamic. <laughs> Batman, yes. colon, the, the movie. movie. Oh, um, man. And before we get into Batman, the movie, I do want to add two other movies in that franchise, only because I think they're worthy to be included. Which came out, a lot of people, I don't know if a lot of people that were fans of Batman 66 even know that there were two movies that came out in 2016, 2017, right before Adam West's death. Actually, the second one came out just after his death, which is Batman Return of the Cape Crusaders, which is animated, which he and Burt Ward returned to the voice. Animated version of uh, Batman 66. uh, And then Batman vs. Two Face, which came out October 8th, 2017, I think a month after his death. With William Shatner as As Harvey Two Face. -face. Julie Newmar was Catwoman. And they're very good. Yeah. They are very good, yeah. Yes, it has Adam West saying Frank Miller Batman lines. It's so, funny. So with that said, since we're talking about Batman and movies, how do you feel about Batman 66? What's your takeaway? What was your relationship, as it were, with I mean, uh, Batman 66? That that franchise, that feeling, that era, whatever. Well, I think by the time that uh, I had actually watched Batman 66, I had already watched um, – the uh, uh, the Tim Burton Batman with Michael Keaton. Yeah. So I already kind of had an idea of the character, but I think I liked the that '66 Batman more. My yeah, brother and I used know. to uh, watch it on um, Nick at Night on Nickelodeon. I mean, it, wait. it was a Nickelodeon. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. I, 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 I was surprised the first time I heard that, but yeah, I. Yeah, so we would we would st- we would uh, watch it around like twelve o'clock, How old like were you? on oh gosh, yeah, you would have been pretty young. Yeah, yeah I, I was probably like ten or less, yeah. something like that, around there, around yeah. ten. And uh, I don't know, I just remember liking it a lot more because it was just so. As a kid, it's kind of goofy, but also like pretty serious. You know what I mean? In a way, like, yeah. In a, yeah, like there were there was enough stakes to keep you as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> granted to watch it, but also like funny enough, I think for adults to sit down and watch. Yeah. I think that's what everyone loved. 
yeah. those old Batmans. Now, like when I look back on it, I just remember all the happy memories of when I was young. <laughs> How about you, Tony? This was the second Batman movie I ever saw when I was like, I want to say five, I guess. And back then, I would I only had like. I want to say seven DVDs, and that was one of them. Nice. So it'd be one of the few movies I'd watch over and over again alongside cool. movies like 89 and Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. But aside that, um, this one in particular, it's something I'd like laugh at occasionally, even back then, mainly with <laughs> well, the whole, it is with the whole, yeah, with the whole rubber is. shark thing. and um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Running around with a big old bomb, like a cartoon <laughs> character. That's, Some days you just um, can't get rid of a bomb. <laughs> shark repellent, of course. Shark, Batman shark making repellent. out yeah. with Selena, or Kitka, as what she's called in this Miss movie. Miss Kitka. And yes. like Alfred That's and, Lee Merriweather in the movie, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Alfred yeah. and Robin are just like watching him in the, in the, in the yeah. little car. Yeah, Miss Kitka. Yeah. yeah um, and it's funny because you said that was your second. What was the first one? Eighty nine. Right, the Keaton or yeah, the Keaton. Tom Burton, right? Tim Burton. Yeah. To go from like Tim Burton's like kind of darker Batman, well, and then yeah. like you watch this '66 cartoonish Batman from the '60s, it's kind of like a weird transition. Yeah, I remember liking the villains a lot more in this one, just because of how they bantered and argued with each other, yeah, right. especially yeah. and the Penguin sub. <laughs> yeah, and the Penguin submarine. Yep, Burgess and, Meredith. And their, and their plan Nikki was Nikki Goldmill <laughs> to turn everyone in the UN into sand by dehydrating them. I'm like. Wait, what? That's some <laughs> silver age super villainy right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and <laughs> then, <laughs> then like things got worse when some guy accidentally fell in it and sneezed, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's <laughs> I, right. I, I couldn't stop laughing hysterically when I first saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So my first, that was the first my first exposure I think to superheroes that I remember. I probably sixty six. Yeah, I probably wow. I probably was three years old. Now, to be fair, I'm not quite that old. It, this was years after the show, mm-hmm. but it was on every day, probably in reruns. Oh, and channel? I used to want to. Oh, I was probably three or four. I don't know. Oh. I just probably was like, "Can you put Batman on?" <laughs> <laughs> and I watched it like every day, and I loved it. Yeah. Um, you know, I watch it today, and some things hold up, some things don't. I you mean, know, I mean, that yeah. is to be expected. Yeah, yeah. Um, but still, I still love it, and uh, yeah, it was my first exposure to superheroes. I think so. It was bring pretty, back hashtag bring back King Tut. Pretty crazy. <laughs> now, well, as, as, a retro, as a retro, as a retro, I'm talking about like in the actual like hardline like Live DC <laughs> comic universe. Oh, yeah. well, let's bring back King Tut. Well, he yeah, did make a go. cameo in live action, uh, not live action, an animated recently um, in a movie. Just <laughs> as a retrospective to Batman '66, if anybody is interested and hasn't seen Return of the Caped Crusaders, the animated film in 2016, that is a retrospective of why that version of Batman is important, and I think that's why it makes the movie so good. Yep, actually. and it has probably the most outlandish plot of any yeah, okay. Batman animated movie <laughs> ever. Just, it does. Yeah. It was good. We I mean, just look back at it and go... And then after that, we had another sort of delay all the way until 1989 when Tim Burton's Batman was released. Now, I will say that the studio's attempt, or the studio's... Um, the studio wanted an updated Batman 66. That's what they wanted. Mm -hmm. And Tim Burton and them apparently didn't agree on that. And we somehow got Batman 89, (gasps) um, which was followed by Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin, which got back to Batman 66 feeling in a lot of ways. Yes. But it was so jarring, I think, to the people that were watching. Yeah, I think by by this point it was like, we. I mean, there were so many Batmans between then. Yeah. Yep. At, at this point, like, what would you expect? You know, you right. just now you're just all of a sudden gonna go goofy. Like, yeah. I don't think I think that might have been a problem. But a, Batman '89, I remember pretty fondly. That was yeah. one of my favorite Batmans when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I was a kid. Yeah. Just move, but, okay. I, I, okay. Even though it's really, really, it's a really bad a- adaptation of the comics. It's, it's still so much fun to watch. Like yeah. it's it's so nuts. I and hated that movie. <laughs> Dude, did you? I, I, why? I, as an adult, actually, at the time, I would have been twenty one when that came out, or twenty. Yeah, uh-huh. twenty. I would have been twenty. Um, I hated that movie. That that's like one of the first movies I remember as an adult going, "This is garbage." <sighs> I mean, it was nothing like Batman. I well, mean, they, they had gotten so many things wrong. I was still young and well, angry yeah, at the time, you know. I was like, "Why is he murdering a warehouse full of workers that had nothing to do with anything? <laughs> like, what is going on? Why does the Why does the Bat Jet have missiles and guns? Why, why not? does the That's Batmobile cool. have thirty cows on it? It's like, cool. uh, yeah, why not, That's dude? Why? why wouldn't it? It's, yeah. it's so much cooler. What's he supposed to do? Just run over people? That seems cruel. <laughs> uh, he does that in Arkham Knight. Yeah, uh, in the game. Um, but well, they they still live. They just get electrocuted before getting hit. But I mean, I get why people like it. 
<laughs> I guess it's insane. <laughs> it is. Plus, it's our. Fr- I mean, I was a kid. It was my I, first exposure to Batman, so I, I didn't thought it was like awesome. that interpretation of Joker at all. What Jack Nicholson? You yeah. like Jack Nicholson's Joker? Well, I, I didn't like his I, origin. I, I didn't like his origin. I thought. I thought he was a little. Oddly enough, I thought he was a little, you know, now granted, my only experience with Batman as a visual medium at this point was Batman 66. With Cesar Romero. And when version. you put him to Cesar Romero, he's really understated. And yeah. it just was yeah. kind of jarring, I guess, where it's like, this isn't the Joker. <laughs> well, Cesar Romero Joker isn't the type that would kill someone. Well, that's true, too, yeah. Jack Nokeson, he does, he has the electric just, yeah. uh, joy buzzer. Well, and I'm, there I were things I liked him. about his Joker. I just thought he was a little too low-key. But I get it. I mean, like, they're playing to whatever era they were in right so like yeah. caesar romero's joker was like golden era joker yeah well where he was silver era golden era where he golden was era joker was yeah. meaner and nastier silver era joker yeah. like yeah. well because because jo- n- gold because was more Rom- like neil adams version of the joker where he would actually kill people but he still had goofy <laughs> weapons and toys yeah. Yeah. yeah and uh caesar romero's joker was more of like a, a nuisance than anything really S- silver age yeah, yeah. it's very silver age yeah um and then, of course, Batman Returns, which I thought was a lot better film. Oh, this, personally. this movie's awesome, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. but it's a lot better film. I Danny think. DeVito as the Penguin is pretty good cast. Right, right. And Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. Yep. Yeah. Yep. A and very there... different take on Catwoman that I think mostly worked. Yeah. Yes, there's she a became lot of... Catwoman after being swarmed in an alley by cats. Yes. Right. There's a lot of mature things I didn't notice the first time I watched it. <laughs> then I, I rewatched it. I'm like, wait, is Catwoman putting her hand down there and, ba- and Batman she smiling. Sure I just I'm realized. Like, what the hell? I just realized. <laughs> a kids movie? Well, actually, there's so, a whole controversy behind that. When I was a kid, I always interpreted it as uh, the cats gave her superpowers. Yeah. <laughs> but then now that I think about it, when I rethink about this thing, because I haven't watched the movie in a long time, I'm like, no, she went insane. She went insane. Yeah. Uh, she and then went. she learned how to do flips and use a whip. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and so a cat suit. It was almost more of a Jokerish origin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she just lost control. And, yeah, and then of course followed by Batman Forever, which I don't care yeah. what anybody says. I still think Val, Val Kilmer did. He did the best at sort of reinterpreting Adam West's Bruce Wayne and Batman. Mm-hmm. Although the movie was only halfway to Batman sixty six level. Um, Jim Carrey would have made a great Joker. <laughs> so, you think so? For the, for, I don't think he was a good Riddler. <laughs> so back when I had he se- played the Joker more than the Riddler. Back when I had seven DVDs, I was it was I had the player that was also a VHS tape player. Yeah. Two VHS tapes. The only two VHS tapes I had was um, Star Wars: Return of the Jedi and Babin Forever. Wow. And yeah, you guess I kind of watched this movie somewhat religiously too, just because of Riddler. <laughs> because I, I right. just like. Jim, Jim Carrey, Carrey was, I mean, when you were a kid, he was. Yeah, that's he was fair. fun. I remember watching him in, in Living Color, just, and then uh, he had made like yeah. what, like the pa- the Pet Detective movies, which were pretty big when I was a kid. I just like see him go nuts, especially when he now they're hard <laughs> to watch. I just, Boston. I think, like, I think the biggest problem with Batman Forever for me was that you're watching it, and I had the sense that like clearly somebody in the production said, no, the villains all have to be crazy over the top just silly. like joker yeah yeah and like joker and it's just like no they don't Ta- tommy two-face should be <laughs> menacing not yeah. not zany and cookie. uh the um, and not trying tommy to lee jones? tommy lee jones he apparently was very unhappy with that yes uh, he, as he should be because yeah. he was insane I, I, this is tommy lee jones unlike i've ever seen tommy lee jones in my life and <laughs> i don't know that i liked it it's like the equivalent of like what seeing your hell? dad cry <laughs> you know what I mean, or like, or like going with your dad to like go take bring your son to work or whatever, and then like your dad's just treated like crap by everybody. That's kind of, you know, that's how I felt about Tommy Lee Jones. And then of course we get into Batman and Robin. Oh yeah, one more thing about Forever. I I, uh-huh. I do like um, Nicole Kidman in that movie. Ow. Yeah. So, yeah, well, yeah. I yes. like Nicole Kidman in any movie. <laughs> yes. <it's been. laughs> Okay, wait. I okay. guess. <laughs> okay, even as a little kid. It's just Nicole Kidman. Okay. So much I like it. Another thing, even as a little kid, this thing bothered me about Batman Forever. Mm-hmm. Dick Grayson was wearing basically Tim Drake's outfit and Robin's origin story. For some reason, he has an older brother that dies too. I didn't think that needed to be in the movie. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Don't I don't know. think it really mattered. It didn't really play any parts in it right. that yeah, I can remember. Say, no, not really. Mm. And then, of course, Batman and Robin, which honestly... I now find this movie far more entertaining than I used to because I get that it's supposed to be Batman 66. I think its greatest flaw for me and why it is hard to watch 
is how they just screwed up Batgirl so bad. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. That, that is so bizarre I'm, I'm, to me. Like everything else about the movie is hilarious. Wasn't it that she's, uh, my, she's Alfred's niece? Yes. Or whatever? Yeah. I remember like, my what? jaw somewhat dropping. I'm like, what? Whoa, yeah, what? what? <laughs> I did like Miss Freeze, admittedly. I like yeah, Miss Freeze like, in this movie. I don't know. I, I dug uh, I Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy. Yeah, I mean. Uma Thurman, yeah. It's just, I mean, Bane gets the short end of the stick again. Yes. But yeah. to be honest, well, was Bane was barely time. around. I don't even think Bane's storyline was fully played out by that point. Nightfall? Nightfall? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. It's I don't possible. Think I'm not sure. I, I'm, I don't remember exactly. But yeah, he's reduced to a henchman. But, but he's reduced to a henchman, but that's okay. Last time, but I like Mr. Freeze just because I, I even like his ice puns. Oh, the I, ice puns. I, yeah, and yeah. I like the fact that he forces his. Oh, I loved it. He yeah. forces his. um yeah. Cold miser, yeah. Yeah, he forces his henchman to do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the only. the I think the other downside of this movie is that somehow that's how Bane is interpreted far more often than not in the, like a, in yeah, the future, even in video a, games. A he's just a mindless henchman. Yeah. Which, of course, goes into a later movie which we'll talk about. Ooh. Okay, really quick, let's touch on um, the two animated films that are on the list, because they did get theatrical releases, which is Batman Mask of the Phantasm. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Which I, I guess was a limited theatrical release. Oh, then, that I didn't know. And I then Lego that. Batman movie. Oh, um, I don't care to talk about Lego Batman movie. Uh, what? what? I just because. Did you not like it? I don't. I never saw it. <gasps> I didn't care. Whoa. Um, but I mean, it honestly, it was pretty entertaining. But yes. was it a Batman movie? Is it? Is it? Is it? Should it be part of a Batman retrospective? Yes, honestly, because it's like a the whole animated movie. It's like a whole big homage to Batman's history in general. And okay, that's fair. And well, Bat and the other DC characters' history in general, since like the Super Friends are in the movie too. Yeah. Plus, why can't it just be like a silly romp? What I mean, just it, just because it's a little bit silly doesn't mean that it can't be counted as a Batman franchise. Fair, fair enough. And honestly, the fact that there's so many other franchises in it as the villains of the movie is pretty funny too. Yes, yeah. like mutant leaders yeah. in that movie, Condiment Kings in the movie, mutant Saruman's in the movie, Sa Saruman, Saruman, yeah, Agent Smith. from the Lord, Lord of the Rings. because oh, they're Legos. Because they're Legos. Lego Lego yeah, King Kong. King Kong's in <laughs> it. Yeah. Gosh, maybe I will have to watch this. It's nuts. Yeah, okay. it's insane. It's pretty. And it's funny. colorful. Cool. Yeah. Well, maybe. it's funny. Well, I think Will Arnett does Clearly a good. Clearly, I've been wrong. Does a good Batman, <laughs> yeah. a silly well, Batman, a, a Batman who's obviously a prick to everyone around him. Yeah, yeah. kind of like it was in the Lego Movie. Yeah, little, yeah. little, uh, little yes. cocky, little, little arrogant. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I think you would enjoy it. I enjoyed it. Uh, okay. I enjoyed it when I watched it. Plus, it's the first time Zoe Kravitz plays Catwoman before the Batman came out. Yeah, she voices her. Oh, she does. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Cool. Um, and then, of course, Batman Mask of the Phantasm, that which is awesome. tied to Batman yeah. the Animated Series. One is still one of my well, absolute favorite renditions of the Despite this changes Batman. to the source material, it's awesome still. Yeah. Because, yeah, well, Mask of Phantasm is based on Batman Year 2, you know, yeah. the one with Tom McFarlane doing all the beautiful art. And the biggest change to the source material is the reveal of who the Reaper dash the Phantasm is. When did uh, Batman Year 2 come out? Like 80s. Did it? Year I think, 2? I think so. That doesn't sound right. Didn't year one come out? Not that. Look, could you look that up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I thought that doesn't sound right. But I'm pretty sure year two predates Master of the Phantasm. I don't know. We're going to find because out. All right. Go, go ahead. I'll, I'll, uh... All right. Um, yeah, Mask of the Phantasm for me, mostly because it's tied to Batman the Animated Series. To me, I mean, there's no more definitive or complete Batman on the screen than that version of Batman. Batman. Now, granted... <laughs> When I say that, it really more has to do with the show, too. Yes. <laughs> Kevin Conroy's Batman. And Mark Hamill's Joker. And, of course, Joker. Mark Hamill's Joker. Yeah, to me, that's Batman and the Joker. I can't there I can't separate them. However, there okay. is there isn't I got it. Okay. So, uh yeah, Tony is right. Batman Year 2 came out in yeah. 1987. That's oh, where wow. the Reaper yeah. come, came from. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's got he's even got the hook sword in his or the hook oh, hand okay. in his But he's red in the comics. I did not know that. Yeah. But and Batman's were, Batman is has a gun. I don't know why. Oh, okay. So <laughs> mainly because Year Two is about Batman hunting down Joe Chill, and he's about to kill him with his gun, but Reaper kills him first, and it's like, whatever. I'm not gonna kill anyone anymore. Here's here's a picture of it. <laughs> okay. He's yeah. even he's even got his holster strapped to his chest. He does, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So after after Batman Mask of the Phantasm. There were a lot of direct-to-video movies, especially from the animated series. Hell yeah. But there was a big lull of Batman in film all the way until 2005's Batman Begins. That was 2005? Begins. Batman Five? Begins, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I was in kindergarten when that came out. Okay. <laughs> wow, I but, feel old. But I, I, but I liked it. I, I mean, I liked Batman Begins. 
Yeah. And then, of course, The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. Christian Bale uh, as the titular character. Titular character. Right? Okay. Yeah. So we're going into the Nolan trilogy. Batman Begins. How do you feel about that one? My favorite among the, Nol- the Nolan trilogy, just because it's, it feels the most like a comic book movie. You look at Gotham, you look at the set design, you look at the scenery. It's very intense. It looks, it, it definitely doesn't look like any modern city, unlike The Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises, where it's basically Chicago. You could just go outside and look at and like, hey, there's Gotham from the Nolan trilogy. It's Chicago. CGI to look three Chicago. times the size. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh. uh, I enjoyed it when it came out, the first movie, yeah. for sure. Um, I think it did a good job sort of... The one thing that bothers me about a lot of like a lot of like media about Batman is like Batman just knows how to do everything, anything right. and everything. Yeah, yeah, but there's yeah. no real explanation besides I was right. gone for six months and I learned how to do this in six months. Like, right. okay. Sure, I'm, I'm sure you did. Um, whereas this, like, kind of gives him, like, a more fleshed out origin. Maybe, yep. like, explains yeah. a he lot gets, of the things he's able to do and how he's able to do them and, and stuff like yep. that. He yeah. gets trained by Ra's, Ra's al Ghul, Ghul yeah. played by Liam Neeson, which I, I think he did a played decent by job. Liam yeah. I do like the movie. I just have mixed feelings about his origin just being that. Being <laughs> trained by just Ra's al Ghul. Just Ghul-only. that, yeah. Yeah. I, I like the idea where he would travel around, around the try world to learn different things. Martial arts, movies yeah. Like that. Sure. Yeah. Um, I liked how they explained his gadgets, kind of like in the James Bond movie, where, um, like, <laughs> like okay, so in James Bond movies, um, uh, like Q would show James his gadgets that he yeah. would eventually use, like, by the end of the movie. Right, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Same thing Lucious with the Fox, Yeah. 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 The guy um, uh, I like Freeman played. <laughs> I like this version of Scarecrow, despite his screen time being. I did like cut. his Scarecrow. Yeah, he yeah. Was really Killian good. Murphy. Yeah, Killian Murphy was Killian really Murphy was good. A good Scarecrow. Scarecrow. Yeah. Yes. Now the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. Which I'm guessing is the next one. The next one. Yeah. The Dark Knight. I think is a really good flick. I, I didn't think, think it was I think that it's good. even a pretty good Batman flick. I I I, um, I, I thought I it was thoroughly good, enjoyed it. Honestly, yeah. I, I thought I, it was really a good liked... movie, but I I didn't like it as much as everyone else when it came out in yeah. 2008. Just I uh, I thought it was a really good version of the Joker. However, okay, like I do Heath not Ledger. think it was a definitive version of Joker. Yes. it is not a complete Joker. Mm. It is a very specific Joker. Yes, yeah, specific <laughs> to the plot since yeah. this is Batman in the real world. In the real Joker world, has yeah. to be a domestic terrorist instead of a supervillain clown right. type. Which I mean, I, it, the first movie I mean pretty much set up that it's going to be a, a, or it's going to have some sort of grounding anyway. So yeah, I was I'm not like world, no I'm not powers. upset that he's a domestic terrorist. No, like if you're going to yeah. set it in a real world setting. Right. You might as well do it all. You know what I mean? You yeah. can't just... Ta- w- what would you call nowadays someone dressed up as a clown terrorizing a city? Yeah. You'd call him a terrorist, You'd would you not? A exactly. Yes. You wouldn't call him a supervillain. That no, seems no. a little cute. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, and jo- his arsenal of weapons mainly stick to realistic stuff. Now, Batman yeah. Begins and Dark Knight. Like pencils. Batman yes. Begins and Dark Knight, the Dark Knight. The way Batman Begins ends and the way the Dark Knight... You want to try that again? Begins... <laughs> You're confusing me. That, that's okay. complicated. Batman Begins. <laughs> yeah. When that film ends. Yes. And the way The Dark Knight begins. Uh-huh. Yeah. That okay. There we of, go. A lot of goofy words in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, it gives the impression that it's apparently maybe a month after Batman Begins. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Still out. But apparently it's supposed to be like two years or something. <laughs> right. Yeah. But he had already been terrorizing according to the end of the Batman movie, right? right? He had already started ter- right. That's why he let, they had, he had the a calling reputation. card. Yeah, he had a yeah, reputation. Yeah, so like there's this guy calling himself the Joker or whatever, and they already had a card. I'm like, all right, so for two years, the Joker right. hasn't done anything since? Yeah. I do like the Dark Knight for the most part. Um, I like that version of Two-Face. Right. Yeah, that version of Two Face was kind of a neat take on it. I yeah. like his good. themes of escalation and how yeah. Batman has to do something that's almost as legal, if not more illegal, to catch the Joker yeah. by hacking into billions right. of people's phones. Not billions, millions of people's phones yeah. to create sonar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Which is the bat computer, I guess, for at least right. a little bit. You get a bat computer. Right, for a little bit. <laughs> and then, of course, apparently, right after the events of Dark Knight, he gives up being Batman? Yes. Yeah, he, he gets just, for, yeah. for eight years, he, apparently, he, <laughs> until the Dark Knight kill, Rises. He kills Two-Face, for a girl, and he gives right? up. Isn't that because, uh, what's her face? Because he, he quit because uh, Rachel died. Rachel yeah. died, and he killed Two-Face. Yeah. Best friend Two Face. Yeah, so he just gives up being Batman. Just apparently, gives up being Batman. This, yeah. this Bat- this ver- Christian Bale's version of Batman has an odd moral code. He says he doesn't kill, but he inadvertently either kills people by accident or yeah, that doesn't count. Everyone knows that. <laughs> like, like when don't he, ask me about my ex-wife like, anymore. Tom. 
<laughs> like it Batman, was an accident. Like in Batman Begins, where he just burns down the temple. He probably killed a crowd ton of ninjas. And, yeah, that's um, for sure. Yeah. And he definitely killed Two Face. He just knocked him off the building. So yeah. yeah, it's a lot of moral gray with Batman not um, killing. But The Dark Knight Rises. Oh my God. So The Dark Knight Rises comes out. Oh, and, your favorite movie. Fish, fish, and Pasha, and if Pasha. I can just say before I let you guys get into it, if there was one way to just absolutely. Ooh. screw up Ooh. a trilogy dark knight rises would be the way to do it i mean <laughs> wow i hate that movie that, that movie, movie is that movie bad. that movie oh took a God. real turn right yes. so here we go from the grounded elements of the first two movies and now we have a super villain in bane yes who turns out to be a henchman. another <laughs> henchman yeah and here's yeah. the thing, it's Bane, it's, it's Tom Hardy as Bane as a muscular guy, he doesn't use Venom because Venom is unrealistic and doesn't belong in the real world, yeah. yet he's able to punch through concrete. Yeah. yeah. And he holds a whole stadium hostage, that's some yeah. that's some 66 stuff right there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. with... if with Pittsburgh Steelers Stadium, because ter- <laughs> that's, ter- that's where they filmed it, yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, well, a terrorist with enough resources, I could see that happening. But Bane, all of a sudden, oh, he gets super strength whenever he feels like it. Yeah. yeah or when his mask is damaged. Not. And then he has that weird accent that I, I couldn't. <laughs> Strawberries <laughs> are good in fiber. <laughs> Which I will talk about one of the favorite things that came out of that movie was the bad lip reading of very many, of a lot of scenes from that movie. <laughs> because if you, if you look up, if you look up bad lip reading, I think it's uh, Batman the Dark Knight Rises. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love that channel. Ra- like rapping Bane or Bane rapping, right. that is one of the best bad lip readings ever. And it's in I the mean, stadium, and it's freaking great. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. Um, um, how do you feel about the Dark... Um, we're actually starting to run a little long, but how do you feel about the Dark Knight trilogy as a whole? Uh, Batman Begins is the best one. It should have stuck with the same tone as Batman Begins. Screw right. the Dark Knight Rises. Okay, like, having someone's last name be Robin. Yeah, that was dumb. It wasn't oh even my, a last name. It was like a nickname. Oh, my yeah. God. Thing. That was so bad. <laughs> and, like... Well, with the, the movie, I think, had a big problem with, like, the first... So, the, again, the first two grounded in reality, right? We already talked about this. Yes. Right. And this movie just kind of upends all that into more goofier territory. Yeah, and then at the end... it still tries come, to remain grounded. And then, and then like, at the end comes back down to ground like it's a really weird movie it's got a lot of different tonal shifts where it's like like, okay so i think it i think it reached too high yeah yeah (laughs) okay admittedly i like i somewhat like the twist that it was talia as the the main villain the dark Knight Rises. but the way it was presented it just comes out of nowhere i'm like not to mention that bane at that moment becomes literally nothing but just a mute henchman yes yeah. like suddenly he has no will of his own and like, like when when <laughs> batman inadvertently kills talia it's honestly the most cheesiest death scene i've ever seen in a movie i suppose take it so seriously so yeah, yeah there's that yeah, you're and, right most of, that. and last but not least how did batman escape a nuclear bomb like even an care. autopilot how does he how, did he like swim away yeah he still just yeah i don't know i don't care <laughs> i don't care but it's so grounded yeah, i'll yeah. tell you what one, of, what one of the best things that came out of dark knight rises do you remember those posters where they would have a, a character like Batman yeah. or Bane or yeah, whatever, yeah. and it just said Rise, right? Yeah, like right, a, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a – someone made a Batman 66 one. Maybe we can put it up uh, yeah, on the video. Yeah, that's good. a good one, yeah. Yeah, yeah and I, I saw this. It, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah maybe we can, maybe we can put it up. You but, know what? Uh, I'll try to use it as the thumbnail maybe because <laughs> it is a parody, so – I'll yeah. try to. F- I don't know who I can find artist credit and give it to him. Uh, um, this post yeah, I'll try to use it as a thumbnail. Um, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it, it it is it is like I don't know. It is the a, a, a terrible sort of ending to this franchise. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah like you had really two very strong movies, and then to end on whatever was this like, was supposed to be. What is going on? Like the, I, they were trying to do Nightfall, and they they were like, "Well, we're gonna no, do like a great really realistic." Do, they Nightfall. were trying to do uh, Nightfall, No Man's Land, No Man's Land, and Nightfall yeah. together. Yeah. Like, and it was just too much. Yeah, but we're gonna do them gritty, like yeah. not very comic booky. But then they would do comic booky stuff. Yeah. So okay. Uh, yeah. Well, so my last... take on the trilogy, the Dark Knight trilogy, is my biggest complaint mm. as the trilogy as a whole is at no point did we ever get like a fully formed Batman. At no point. Yeah. It's like you got the sense like it was kind of like it was like leading up to year one and part of year one. And then like the second movie was kind of year one, even though it's not like the story. Yeah. He quits. And then he quits. <laughs> and then, you know, it's intimated in dark Knight rises, like the police, like he's legendary, even though it's been eight years and he was only operating for roughly two uh, years, apparently two years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, oh. okay. <laughs> I just, it didn't, 
I don't know. It didn't feel like a fully formed Batman. We never got a Batcave. I mean, there was no Wayne Manor was destroyed in the first movie. We technically did get a Batcave. It cave. just looked like crap. It was just a yeah, cave. It was just a cave. It was yeah. just, there was nothing. There in was it. some stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. They had like a couple of tables. So, I guess yeah. to work on stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, what's it was so? Just, it was just not a completely formed Batman. We never got a fully realized Batman. That was yeah. my complaint. Of course, then we get into the DC Extended Universe films. You're yeah. going to count those? Batman yeah, those versus get Super- well, he's he's one of the main guys. Releases, Batman right? versus movie, Superman. Movie Dawn starts of Justice. with the word Batman. Oh, that one. Ben ex- Affleck has Batman. Right, right. I'm sorry. When you said Extended Universe, I thought you meant like oh, the animated I stuff. No. I don't know. I don't know why would they, why would they course, call it the Extended Universe. And then, the, of course, the new Justice Leagues. Yeah. Which we'll just touch on briefly. Um, okay. Donna Justice, Batman v Superman. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So Zack Snyder apparently was quoted, and I my quote's not exact, so I'm only paraphrasing, that he felt that an old an old Batman with a young Superman was a neat juxtaposition or something. And, Which yeah, is bull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. It, uh, he, he wanted to do a Dark Knight Returns he, movie. He and wa- yeah, looks he, like he could, but apparently yeah. it had to be a Superman movie in it too. So Yeah, my, yeah like, Anthony just said, Batman vs. Superman, I think, was just a bad, a lot of good ideas that did not equal the sum of their parts. You're surprised, you'd be surprised how many people I've talked to who like, like that movie. Who I mean, like no, that I movie. Like, I like parts of it. And they're <laughs> real, and they're really, yeah. <laughs> Daddy, mommy. Like, it's, uh, well, <laughs> and then, like, yeah. it's not, I, I get the scene. I just didn't think it was it's executed, not really executed very well. I yeah. just, I, I don't under, I don't get it. I really I mean, don't get it. Like there are people who are really not just in favor of this movie, but in yeah. favor of like Batfleck. Oh, I, well, I, I didn't mind Batfleck. Batfleck. Batman. Batfleck's no, no, I didn't I, mind him. Like it seemed no, like it seemed like that was probably the biggest selling point of these movies to these people was no, like really? Batman as Bat Ben Affleck well, as Batman. Oh, I didn't have a problem with him. As the, Which as no, the I part. don't have a problem with him. But what I'm saying is that seems to be where. The like comes from the fact that it's Ben Affleck for some reason. Uh, I don't know. Well, okay, here's he was the, thing. the bombing phantoms, yo. <laughs> here's, here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, okay, ben Affleck as Batman. He he's a good old Batman. Yeah, and his costume. Yeah, he's fine. First time we saw gray in a Batman costume, like whoa, holy crap! Yeah. And it's yeah. like it looks like it's straight from the comics. And he's legitimately scary towards henchmen and thugs, concerned that he kills a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. But like, wow! I, I I wish this movie was just a Batman movie and not you know Superman it, it was, being involved. It was a Batman as if as if he never got a Robin. <laughs> yeah. He well, was just he was definitely on well, the. Well, he edge. did get a Robin. He just died. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, then that's Ben true. Affleck and Justice League, it feels like a completely different character. Like, yeah, I get Batman toned down on the whole killing thing because Superman kind of changed his heart. But at the same time, he he's like a wimp compared to how he was in Batman vs. Superman. Yeah, like, it's just so much didn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and... Uh, I think I think Zack Snyder, as a whole, was just trying to do way, way, way. Instead of telling a couple good stories to get to a certain point, mm. he just wanted everything in there to. That's what it seems like. Yeah. Well, apparently, just kind of everything everything in the there whole thing together. is a rush job. Apparently, yeah, yeah, yeah. there was supposed to be a Man of Steel two before Batman vs Superman, but Warner Bros. Oh, yeah, like, why? We you know, could spend a whole show wow. bashing that one. Wow. Anyway, so Man of Steel um, one wasn't enough for anybody. So. You know, we are starting to run a little long, but of course, Justice League and then the director's cut, Zack Snyder's version of Justice League. Are you gonna you're, are you gonna count Suicide Squad? He was in that. Yeah, but I wasn't counting that because he wasn't a main. Okay. A main. Okay. Like, he's fair. not. He's not like an integral part of the movie. <laughs> fair you, enough. You get to see um, him get shot, enough. and he's on the floor, and he's lying down like this. Yeah. <laughs> fair. Um, <laughs> so the biggest difference between Justice League and then the director's cut of Justice League is the fact that Batman actually understands his role in the justice league whereas yeah. in the in the uh in the joss whedon version he's like fighting along with the big boys like that would even be possible <laughs> i guess i could say that oh, i guess Stephen I, wolf would squish him between two fingers in i guess I, I could say that for Zack snatter he at least got that he got that right, right. But yeah, that movie that was right. what was it three four hours it was not it's it's you know, so long. It's so it's much so better long. than the Joss Whedon version. It is. But it's too oh, I it's bet. still but bad. But it's still not great. It, it's yeah. still bad. It has yeah. pacing issues mainly because it's supposed to be two movies. Yeah. And I, well, I it's honestly, like a mini series. I guess at first was his but, idea or something. I don't know. Ooh, sorry. Yeah, but I did like how in the this one. It's All right. Cut, so let's games. wrap up. Well, All we right. kind of already talked about how you feel about Batfleck. <laughs> I didn't have a problem with him as an older Batman. I don't. I don't, I don't have a problem with good. him. I just. I. Th- I think that the f- the movies were the, bad. the movies were bad, so it didn't make him look like a great Batman to me. Right. Yeah. If yeah. there's something that other people saw, fine, the whatever. But scene. the warehouse scene where he <laughs> saves Martha. 
so badass in so many levels. It's like watching the Arkham games in live action well, until Robert Pattinson's Batman came out. But at the time, wow. this was so Love. awesome to see in the big screen. I'm like, oh my god, this is better than the fight with Superman. And Love for Starlight Batman. Yeah. Starlight Batman. <laughs> twinkle Batman. And Batman says, Twinkle, twinkle, you. Batman. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then, of course, Lego Batman. No, well, we, we already skipped. That. Well, there's Lego Batman 2, but um, that was a really direct video. Oh, yeah, but I, it is tied to Lego Batman. I didn't see that one. That's Maybe I should, the, according to you two, which is fair. Like it's a fun, listen, it's a fun kids movie. movie. Just keep that in mind. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, not that doesn't count. Anything serious. Yeah. yeah. But it is kind of a love letter to like Bat, old and Batman just, and stuff like that. Yeah, okay. All right. And then just a couple days ago, The Batman released with Robert Pattinson, directed by Matt Reeves, who. Tony has already seen it. He actually likes it quite a bit. Yeah, I've actually um, heard. I've actually heard a lot of good things. Uh, well, I've, I've also heard some a few bad things. Someone told me that it was really long and really boring. Yeah. But then I've had other people tell me that it's it's pretty good. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I can't. I don't know where to. I I, I guess I could trust Tony because he's one of my one of the only people I could trust. Yeah, one of my complaints with Bat, the modern Batman, especially over the last several years, both in comics and video games, especially in and even movies, and even the even the frigging. Uh, the Christopher Nolan movies is you just it's like they forgot Batman was a detective. I think there's a there's a and long history of that. This movie, yeah. he's a detective. I yes, guess a big he, part of the he movie. He doesn't let but the computer do all the work. Yeah, it's a psychological crime really, thriller. In here's a lot of the thing: ways. we were already making, admittedly, snap judgments that he right. wouldn't be a detective. But what in that trailer made you think that he was going to be a detective when Nothing. he's walking into bullet fire? Well, yeah, I didn't like that. Even, I still have a problem with that. Yeah, me too. But yeah. like, what part of that trailer made you think he was going to be a detective? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? So Nothing. <laughs> Nothing I mean, fair, fairly, yeah, we haven't watched the movie, so we can't really say whether right. it's good or bad. He but gets hurt a lot. at the same time, <laughs> how, am I supposed, how am I supposed to know that he's going to be a good Batman when right. you're not giving me any of the good Batman in the trailer? It's because they're trying to sell it to people who are... Yeah, they like typical things. They don't really. The trailer is not designed to give you a feeling of what the movie's about. In this case, right? They're just trying to appeal to Batman fans. It's like the which su- is the reverse of what you think they would do. <laughs> it's like the Suicide Squad trailer, like right? Like you yeah. watch it, and you're like, okay, wow, they got Queen's. Uh, uh, they got a Queen song on here. There's a lot of explosion stuff happening, but I don't know what the <laughs> point of the movie is. Right, There's right. no plot in here. There's like. There's nothing. I, I, and as it turns out, that movie was terrible. And as it turns out, that movie sucked <laughs> hard. Yes. So. The so second editing. Suicide Squad was great. The yeah. second Suicide Squad. I'll, I'll call that one the first Suicide so, Squad. Yeah. How about that? Wrapping up, you said you would name yeah. a bunch of animated movies. Oh, yeah. You want me to do the list? Yeah. Sure. That's yeah. really all we got. Um, thanks for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe before I start this list. That way you don't have to hang out unless you yeah. want to hear me. Guys, read hit the hit whole th- bunch of movies. Yes, yeah. hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the like and subscribe. That. Yes. Comments. Like us or dislike us. It's fine. Yeah. We're we will answer all comments. Yes, yeah. um, we have well, one. Don't pa- make that promise. I don't know that I want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, as far as our Patreon members, um, we do want to have some things coming up soon. Hopefully, um, very soon. It's just there's a lot of things happening to us all personally in the next few weeks that are yeah, yes, kind of delaying that. But we uh, we're gonna get stuff on there. All right, are we ready? Yes. yes. I don't know if this is any in any particular order, but we're gonna end on this. Okay. Right. Uh, I hope it's a complete list. There's, I kind of pulled it offline. There's like only two or th- three of them I actually have actual comments on. Right. So. There's Sub Zero, which is animated series. Return of the Joker, which is Batman Beyond. I liked Return of that the Joker. That one's good. Yeah, Mystery of the Batwoman, which is New Batman eh. Adventures. The Batman vs. Dracula, which is in That's continuity awesome. of The Batman. Is it? That movie's awesome. Under the Red Hood, which that is movie's an adaptation awesome. of Under the Red Hood. Actually, I do like that movie quite a bit, even mm. though I... It's one I of the animated ones, right? Yeah, Under the Red Hood is one of the better. I, I have that movies. one, I think, yeah. Jen, Jensen Ackles playing the Red Hood is why I is thought... Great. My yeah. own comic book. I did put out a comic book once a long time ago. I thought if that ever gets made into a movie, I need Jensen Ackles to play the main character. Oh, nice. That's um, cool. Uh, but, you know. Actually, he's the right age now. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Year One, which is that an adaptation awesome. of Year One. Brian pretty Cranston yeah. as um, Commissioner Gordon. The Dark Knight Returns Part One, which is an adaptation of Dark Knight yep. Returns. And The Dark Knight Returns Part Two. Those are awesome. Peter those Weller. Were, those were good. Peter Weller is I did enjoy it, yeah. Yeah, those were good. 
DC Superheroes Unite, an adaptation of Lego Batman 2, DC Superheroes. Th- Tony, what would you think? That's literally just a video game cutscene stitched together as a right. movie. Right. Is it really? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Son of Batman, a loose adaptation of Batman and Son. That was Son. all right. That was oh. all right. Yeah, um, I don't agree. It was, though, it was pretty mediocre. Even though Damien beats Deathstroke, it's, yeah, it's all right. Assault on Arkham, which is a continuity of Batman. Assault on Arkham. Video games, that's awesome. Assault. It's a Suicide Squad movie. Kevin Conroy voicing Batman. Yes. Assault on Arkham is a, is a fun one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Batman vs. Robin, an animated film with Jason Momoa. Eh, it's basically okay. that one's basically an adaptation of Coralis. That's okay. Yeah. Um, what was I? Oh, Batman Unlimited, Animal Instincts. Uh, no, that's a dumb kids cartoon. Batman Unlimited, Monster Mayhem, Batman kids Unlimited, Mex and kids Mex and Mutants or Mex vs. Mutants. Those are those are like meant for five year olds. Right. So. <laughs> Batman, Batman, which was Batman Unlimited. Ba- it's the one where Batman is like super blue and his yellow is like overly yellow and his like <laughs> chin is like. I don't know. There's a pointy part. It's, it's, it's meant for like five year olds, and it's meant to sell toys. Okay. Is it? Is it? It's not the. Which which Batman series am I thinking of with Diedrich Bader? That's uh, Brave and the Bold. Okay, right? I never mind. Ever, I love Brave and the Bold. I don't think they ever had a movie, but that's a good series. Yeah, that's yeah. a great series. That's what I was that's thinking a of. That's good. Re- that's a good sort of continuation of Batman sixty six. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, Hashtag bring back King Tut. Right. Yeah. Uh, Batman Bad Blood. Hashtag welcome eh. Egyptian. Featuring Batwoman and Batwing. Uh, Batman the Killing Joke. No! Uh, Incredibly divisive film. No! <laughs> they, for some reason, added a first act on there that was just so bad. And That's made, what really turned me off no to the sense, whole thing. Yeah, and really went into creep, Batman creep territory. Yes, like, yeah. it, it came off what as a... What the hell? Yeah, like, it came off as a student wanted to have sex with his teacher. Right, yeah, yeah teacher. it was not good. Did you, did you watch once it? You, yeah. Once, once, you, once I, you get into the pure yeah. adaptation, it was fine, but I think that first act screwed that up so bad. Yes. Did it have... Did oh, that, my God. Did that first scene... Because I, once I found out that was going to happen, yeah. I was like, no, I'm not going to watch this. This it's is bad. terrible. I was like, so, whoa. But did Even, that, I knew it was coming, and I was still like shocking, but did, shockingly bad. Did like, that first part what? play any any way into the story after that? Only, I guess, that it made the relationship with him and Barbara seem a lot weirder and more complicated. You're supposed to feel more bad when, for Barbara when, when she gets crippled. When I would, I would think the core of the relationship, at least when I read it when it first came out years and years ago, to me, the core of the relationship was the fact that she was Commissioner Gordon's daughter. Yeah, he felt responsible for the fact that she was running around as bad girl. Yes. Right, and you know, he but felt that wasn't terrible. that wasn't enough. He had to sleep with but her. But now too, he yeah. had to sleep with her. Yeah. Oh yes. my god. Freaking weird. Yes. It is weird. Yeah. All right. Um, they almost it's almost incestuous, right? Like they whenever I see them, they're they're more like it's weird. They're it's, more it's like, like they're more like father daughter, right? Yeah, it's like, more a like a high, second like a second father to her. It's like a high school student trying to get with her teacher. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, sure. it was weird. I'm like, why, why does it need to be in the movie? Okay. We're still recording, but apparently the video's frozen. Oh, man. Um, I'll, I'll, con- hear our voices. I'll continue on with the list. That's really strange. Um, so, of course, Batman Return of the Cape Crusaders, which we already talked about. Yes. Batman and Harley Quinn animated That's film okay. with Kevin yeah. Conroy voicing Batman. That's okay. That's another weird um, one. Like, I guess in it, yeah. uh, Nightwing sleeps with Harley Quinn. I could go with that. So um, I have no problem I don't with know. that whatsoever. I just, uh, Batman versus Two-Face, which we also already talked about. Um, Batman, Gotham by Gaslight. I never saw that. One. I did and I see it. I love that graphic novel. I did see it. it. I thought it was pretty good. I didn't good. even know that was a thing. Yeah. They changed the plot twist. Oh, did they? Yes. Yeah. It's probably on. Uh, I saw it on HBO Max. So okay. it's on there. Batman Ninja. Didn't, That's awesome. Didn't see that really? Yeah. Even though it's meant to sell toys, it's still uh, an awesome show. Hmm. I mean, or, I mean, movie. Batman the Long Halloween Part 1 and 2. They made the, an animated movie. I think yeah. they ju- those, those, are okay. those are the new ones. Those are pretty decent. Oh, 2021. Yeah, Jensen Ackles voices Batman. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> That's my guy. Jensen That's Ackles, you're putting, you're, putting yeah. all your, you're putting all your eggs in the Jensen Ackles right, basket. That's right. All right, and then we have... DC Superheroes versus Eagle Talon. Don't know what that's all about. Don't know what that is. Teen Titans go to the movies. That's that okay, that's like the DC. ultimate satire against DC and Warner Brothers. DC League of Super Pets, that's the one coming out. Eh. Then we have Justice League. The one with the, the new, rock. Yeah, with Justice Counter League, Reeves. the New Frontier. Superman Batman, Public Enemies, Justice that's League, good. Crisis on Two Earths. That's good. Superman Batman Apocalypse. That that's one awesome. was that one was funny only because of the whole line when they're gonna go to Apocalypse and Batman's like, Oh, that sounds like a great plan. I'm just a regular dude. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um DC Super Friends, the Joker's Playhouse. I don't know what I don't that really is. Based that. on the Fisher Price toy line. Okay. Oh, we know who that okay. was. We know who that was like, geared towards. <laughs> Justice League Doom, Justice League that's the a, Flashpoint Paradox. That's those are decent. JLA Adventures Trapped in Time, Justice League oh, War, Lego that's... DC Comics Superheroes, Batman Beleaguered. What? The hell? what? 
Justice League Throne of Atlantis, Justice that's League okay. Gods and Monsters. That's awesome. Lego I, DC. That, that's the one where they re re that's uh, the one where reimagined Kirk him, right? Batman. Yeah. Uh, He's Michael, like a part Michael vampire. Michael C. Hall plays Kirk Langstrom. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Yes. Uh, Lego DC Comics Superheroes Justice League versus Bizarro League. Interesting. That's huh. interesting. That's probably like, that's probably like Troy Baker. It's, it's Troy Baker, so yeah. you know, I'm almost like don't want to watch it because of that. <laughs> wow. Lego DC Comics Superheroes Justice League Cosmic Clash. Yeah. Um, Justice League Dark. Lego well, I thought DC. that was good. I like Justice 50% League Dark. 50% of what you're reading is meant for little Five yeah, year old like children. Just let yeah. me get through the list. Okay. <laughs> Lego DC. We asked him to read it, in fairness. Lego DC Comics Superheroes The Flash. Lego DC Comics Superheroes Aquaman, Rage of Atlantis. Mm-hmm. Apparently, Batman's in all of these. Um, <laughs> the Death of Superman and Reign of the Superman, based on Death of Superman. I didn't know they made that. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah. That was, that was the first DC animated thing, was the Doomsday. Uh, Batman versus yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Lego DC oh, Shazam. I didn't know, they, I didn't know they make that. That one's awesome. Magic, Is it really? Magic yes. and Monsters. Superman, Red Sun. That's and okay. Justice eh. League Dark Actually, that one, that, Red Apocalypse awesome. War. Eh, that one's just like Ezra material. That one's not as good as the first one. You get one. to see Starfire get ripped in half. Yeah. yeah. And, of course, I actually wanted to name this one earlier, but that's okay. We skipped it. Batman Gotham Knight, which... Is a animated film. Oh, the film, anthology. The anthology yeah. that takes place between Batman Begins and The Dark Knight with Kevin Canroy's Batman, and it's actually really good. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's actually yeah, really it's quite good. good. It's like, quite good. Um, it it he, gives a pos- plausible origin for Krill Croc. Yeah, he's right. just someone with a skin condition. And it actually, which is what he originally was, yeah. and it actually has uh, uh, Morgan Freeman's character is now Lucius Fox. Lucius Fox. Yeah. Creates a type of force field that allows to protect him against bullets. But the first time he uses it, the, <laughs> the bullet actually bounces and hits somebody else. And he goes, I'll put my life at risk. I won't put others' lives at risk. Uh, yeah. You know, and it, that was, like, really good. And it, yeah. yep, they even did a take on the animated series episode where it's, like, kids talking about their different interpretations. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw yeah. That, yeah. Man, that was really great. Good. That was yeah. great. Yeah. I enjoyed Batman that. Batman doesn't I cut anyone's head shirt. off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Batman doesn't cut anyone's head off. And then one of them Batman's yeah. a guy right. in a mech suit. It's and that's okay. the list. That's our list, yep. guys. Uh, remember, again, to like or dislike and subscribe. Yes. Uh, anything that we talk about with links or anything are all in the comments down below yes. including Tell us your fr- yep. oh, i'm sorry including the uh the, the our cosmic comics website where you can yeah. order things yep. go ahead and tell us your favorite batman movie live action or anime yeah. in the comments down below yeah. Yeah. agree or disagree with agree what we or said. disagree uh yeah guys we will hashtag see i hate bane movie bane hashtag <laughs> hashtag bring back <laughs> King Tut. Right. hashtag walk like an egyptian good night good night <laughs>